today we are shh, today we are getting our incubator ready for um, setting the eggs and one of the processes that is very helpful to you um, and to your incubation rate um, your hatch rate is to clean your eggs um, we've gone through all of these eggs and laid them out and we have collected these over a week um, some people say five days, some people seven or eight. Um, I've even heard up to as much as ten days. Shh, we're making a video. <clears throat> okay, so normally you would use a cap full of bleach to um, a gallon of water. So I don't have quite as many eggs um, to have that much. So we just did a small, small solution of it. And you're going to want to just dip each egg for a couple of seconds. I run my fingers over it. And I don't do this until the day of the hatch. Um, the reason being is that the egg is protected by the chicken's bloom. And if you've ever seen a chicken lay an egg or watched a video of it, um, they secrete like a layer of solution and it protects the egg. So after you've done all these, um, you want to lay them out. And I try to get these in the position um, that they're going to be. Some of them, like this one, you can't really tell which side is up or down. And have them ready for the incubator. Now we use an egg turner, um, so you want to put them pointy side down in the egg turner. and. Like this one, it's a little more pointy. This one is perfectly oval. Another trick that I have learned, um, and some people disagree, but uh, we're gonna do a test on that one day, is that an oval egg is, is female, is female, and that a pointy egg um, is, male. is male. So if it's perfectly oval, chances are you're going to have a um, that specifically oval egg is going to be a female egg and that a pointy egg or your regular shaped egg is going to be a male. So if you don't want roosters, you could just leave those out of the hatch. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing about that is when you are getting straight run chicks at a hatchery or a store, the hatchery has already sorted out um, the eggs before they're hatched. So if there's a questionable egg that they're not quite sure if it's going to be male or female, it'll go in the straight runs. That's why straight runs are always heavily roosters instead of um, pullets. And if you don't already know, roosters are male, pullets are female. Okay, so all the eggs are ready. Um, I don't wanna wipe these dry. I just want to let them sit in air dry. So we're gonna let these sit in air dry um, for as long as they need. And then um, if you are going to use an incubator that you don't have an egg turner, you're gonna to wanna to mark an X and an O so that you know um, which side um, is up when you're turning it so that you're always switching it back and forth. So this is the um, one of the first processes of sorting out your eggs for the incubator. Um, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, which I kinda of went through already, is you wanna inspect each egg for a crack um, or anything. And you can do that just visually with your eye or you can do it in the dark with an egg candler. Now we don't use anything fancy. Um, you can use a tube from a toilet paper or a paper towel roll and flashlights. Now the kids have these really great LED lights and you just hold it into the paper towel and in then a dark put room. An egg in, and then an egg when room. you're in the dark, you can see any cracks. That's right. And then in a week, you'll want to do this again to check for um, uh, bi signs egg viability. Chick. Yeah, so you'll be checking for spidery type things that are sprawling out. So we'll continue on to that. We've made a candling video before if you have questions about that. Um, but it's always best to make sure that you're not putting yeah, damaged something. eggs into the incubator. So that's the beginning part for um, selecting, processing, and cleaning your eggs for the incubator.